Linden Tree Medicine is a powerful way to soothe your nervous system, heal your gut, and to support your heart. In this episode, I'm sharing my love of the Linden Tree, also known as Tilia Cordata, and showing you my favorite recipe for Linden Tea Benefits. We drink this tea all summer long, and I know that you're gonna love it too. Hello and welcome to the Herbs with Rosalie podcast, a show exploring how herbs heal as medicine, as food, and through nature connection. I'm your host, Rosalie de la Forêt. I created this YouTube channel to share trusted herbal wisdom so that you can get the best results when relying on herbs for your health. I love offering up practical knowledge to help you dive deeper into the world of medicinal plants and seasonal living. Each episode of the Herbs with Rosalie podcast is shared on YouTube as well as your favorite podcast app. Transcripts and recipes for each episode can be found at herbswithrosaliepodcast.com or through the link in the video description. Also in the video description, you'll find other helpful resources. For example, to get my best herbal tips, as well as fun bonuses, be sure to sign up for my weekly herbal newsletter. Okay, grab your cup of tea and let's dive in. Several years ago, I spent a month in France visiting my husband's family. Like most herbalists on vacation, I viewed this trip as a great opportunity to see lots of new and different plants. We traveled all over France, staying with friends and family, and everyone very generously took us to medieval herb gardens and other botanical sanctuaries. One herb we didn't have to go looking for was the linden tree. These beautiful and aromatic trees are everywhere in France. Tilia cordata trees line the streets of Paris, drape across the boardwalks at lakes in the Alps, and shade the castles in the south. Walking through the villages of France, I quickly learned that you can often smell the sweet scent of a linden tree before you find it with your eyes. More than once, my nose caught the perfume of linden and we were off to find the culprit. Linden goes by many names, including lime tree, basswood, and of course, its botanical name, Tilia cordata, as well as other Tilia species. Linden is a plant that offers many gifts, and I especially love linden tea benefits. It's delicious, it's gentle enough for children and the elderly, yet it's also been employed for a number of serious acute problems. As French herbalist Maurice Messager says, lime, or linden tree, is one of the ingredients of my own special tea of happiness that will bring you peaceful nights, joyful awakenings, and happy days if you will take it regularly. I might consider giving it to my chickens next time before I film. Do you have experience with linden tree medicine? Do you have Tilia cordata growing near you or another species? I'd love to hear about it in the comments on YouTube or on the official podcast page, herbswithrosaliepodcast.com. Your comments mean a lot to me and I love cultivating a community of kind-hearted plant loving folks. Plus, it's always interesting and insightful to hear the experiences of plant lovers out there. Your suggestion may also help others. Okay, let's dive in. Linden Tree Medicine Energetics. Linden's cooling, relaxing, and moistening qualities are a soothing relief for a variety of symptoms associated with heat, excess stimulation, and dryness. Linden's gifts are often appreciated by people who are feeling overly stressed, tense, and hot. A red face, sweaty palms, reactive high blood pressure, and our anxiety associated with nervousness are all indications for linden tree medicine and are also a perfect indication for linden tea benefits. More on that in just a moment. Linden tree medicine soothes the nervous system and supports the heart. As a relaxing nervine, linden soothes and calms the nervous system. It can be specific for anxiety that's accompanied by tension, like tense shoulders, muscle cramping, tension headaches, painful menstrual cramps, and more. I also think of linden for people who have difficulty sleeping due to excessive tension. Do you have a restless child who isn't interested in bedtime? Take herbalist David Hoffman's advice for a bedtime bath ritual that includes linden and red clover. Trifolium pretens. Linden has long been used to nourish and support the heart, especially for people with hypertension. As a relaxing nervine, linden can release tense musculature and relieve acute stress. So we might all know how it feels to walk around with our shoulders tense to our ears, feeling jumpy and on edge. That alone can raise blood pressure. 
London is ideally suited to relieving this tense condition. Linden tree medicine is regularly paired with hawthorn, leaves, flowers, and berries. This is a combination that is nourishing and supportive to the general heart health, but also specifically indicated for hypertension and inflammation of the cardiovascular system. By the way, if you're concerned with chronic inflammation and the many ways that this can show up in our bodies like heart disease, cancer, type 2 diabetes, chronic pain, and more, then you'll definitely want to check out my free training how to use herbs to transform your health to get more energy and vitality without expensive supplements or a restrictive elimination diet. You can access this free training by visiting herb-training.com. Linden tree medicine relieves dryness. Linden is both demulcent and astringent, making it a perfect remedy for excessive dryness. The demulcent qualities add moisture to the body, while the astringent qualities tighten and tone tissues, helping to keep moisture within the tissues. You know that feeling of feeling parched? This often happens in the throat, but it can also be an issue in the sinuses. Basically, what's happening is that your mucous membranes, which prefer to be moist, are all dried out. Well, Linden really excels in protecting mucous membrane health in dry and hot weather, or just in people who tend to be dry and hot. You can also reach for Linden tree medicine for dry and irritated rashes. Besides taking it internally as a tea, you can also apply it externally as a poultice or used as a bath herb. Maurice Messagay, the French herbalist that I mentioned earlier, practiced a tradition of herbal bathing, and he recommended Linden for any type of skin inflammation such as burns, boils, or abscesses. Linden tea has many benefits, including being a favorite summertime drink. It's cooling and moistening, quenching thirst, while also having the sweet aromatic taste. I'll share my recipe for this in just a moment. Linden tree medicine promotes healthy digestion. As an aromatic herb that's also antispasmodic, linden can be used for indigestion or even stagnant digestion. It's especially useful for high-strung type A people with a red face, hot skin, and a boisterous demeanor. Or people who have trouble digesting foods due to excitement and stress or tension. Linden tree medicine also is an overlooked herb for diarrhea. As a mild astringent, it tightens and tones lax tissues, which accompany excessive diarrhea, while its mucilaginous qualities soothe and coat inflamed mucous membranes. And its antispasmodic qualities can help relieve cramping. Linden bark is commonly used in France to stimulate the liver and gallbladder, to promote bile, and to help better digest fats. Linden tree medicine relieves symptoms of colds and flu. Linden is a helpful herb for many symptoms of respiratory illness. As a relaxing nervine and vasodilator, it both releases muscle tension and increases circulation to the skin, helping to move heat out of the body. It's specific when someone feels hot and is also experiencing tension and restlessness. Linden's polysaccharides have been shown to modulate immune system function, which is often helpful at the beginning of a cold or flu. One study reported that the polysaccharide content of linden could be useful to support a compromised immune system. Linden tree medicine is also used as an herb for relieving congestion in the lungs, such as bronchitis, coughing, congestion, etc. Think of its soothing mucilaginous textures for sore and irritated throats, especially as an infused honey. Linden tree provides nourishing food Linden leaves and flowers, especially those of Tilia cordata, can be pounded into a flour that can be mixed with other flours, like a wheat flour, to make baked goods. This was commonly done in Europe during World War II when food was scarce. The young leaves can also be eaten fresh and they make a great addition to salad greens and sandwich fillings, as well as being a favorite cooked green of foragers around the world. How to identify linden trees? There are many trees in the Tilia genus, and many are used similarly. Tilia americana and Tilia cordata are commonly found in North America. Tilia cordata and Tilia ex europea are often found in Europe. My friend and fellow herbalist, Christophe Bernard, 
says that Tilia ex europea is one of the rare times a hybrid is commonly used as medicine because its flowers are especially aromatic and sweet. Lindens are a slow growing deciduous tree. Some species can grow up to 130 feet and they can be hundreds of years old, but typically trees are usually about 65 feet tall. Various species are native to practically all northern latitudes, and they're often frequently planted as ornamentals and along the streets. The alternate leaves are shaped like a heart and have serrated edges. London flowers are white to yellowish and they grow in cymes or clusters that hang beneath a bract that's shaped like a tongue depressor. When they're in bloom, their sweet scent permeates the air. These ones aren't quite in bloom, but they will be really soon. Safety considerations for linden tree medicine. Before I show you my recipe for linden tea benefits, let's go over safety. Luckily, linden is considered safe for most people. Occasionally, some people are stimulated by linden instead of relaxed. That just happens sometimes with relaxing nerve vines. There's also been a couple cases of contact dermatitis, but that's fairly rare. How to get linden tea benefits. Linden tree medicine makes a wonderfully refreshing tea, which can be made in a variety of ways. As a simple tea, you can simply steep one teaspoon of the flowers and bracts in a mug for 15 minutes or so. Be sure to cover it while you're steeping it. This is a really pleasant and slightly mucilaginous tea. Linden can be a comforting warm beverage. Um, it could be helpful during an illness or just simply for after dinner digestion. My favorite way to make tea with linden really showcases linden's tea benefits. So as I said, we drink a lot of this in the summer because it's just so cooling and refreshing and absolutely delicious. The ingredients for this are a quarter cup of dried linden flowers, a quarter cup of dried lemon balm leaves, and a quarter cup of dried oat straw. And then you'll need about three cups of water and if you want, honey or your preferred sweetener, which is entirely optional. To make this, you wanna place all of the herbs in a quart jar, something similar. Then you bring the water to a boil and pour the boiled water over the herbs. You wanna stir it really well to make sure they're all saturated with the water and then cover that with a lid or a towel. It's really important to cover it. And let that sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Sometimes I've even let it sit for an hour. After the steeping is done, you can strain, and at that point you can add your desired sweetener if you'd like, then stir that well, make sure the sweetener is all stirred in there, and then what we do is then I put in lots of ice cubes to cool it down and make it an iced beverage. Then I drink that within 24 hours. Don't miss out on your free printable recipe card for Linden Tea Benefits, and if you're watching on YouTube, you can click the link in the video description or if you're listening on the podcast, you can go directly to the show notes at herbswithrosaliepodcast.com. Also in the video description and show notes, I've included other helpful links like where you can buy Linden as well as both of my books. If you enjoyed this video on Linden tree medicine and you value trusted herbal information, then I hope you'll stick around. The best way to get started is to subscribe on YouTube and your favorite podcast app. One of the best ways to retain and fully understand something you've just learned is to share it in your own words. With that in mind, I invite you to share your takeaways with me and the entire Herbs with Rosalie community. You can leave comments on my YouTube channel or on the herbswithrosaliepodcast.com show notes page. Or you can simply hit reply to my Wednesday email. I read every comment that comes in and I'm excited to hear your herbal thoughts about linden tree medicine and linden tea benefits. I deeply believe that this world needs more herbalists and plant-centered folks, and I'm so glad that you're here as part of this herbal community. Also, a big round of thanks to the people all over the world who make this podcast happen week to week. Nicole Paul is the project manager who oversees the whole operation from guest outreach to writing show notes to actually uploading each episode and so many other things I don't even know. She really holds this whole thing together. Francesca is our fabulous video and audio editor. She not only makes listening more pleasant, she also adds beauty to the YouTube videos with plant images and video overlays. 
Tatiana Rusikova is the botanical illustrator who creates gorgeous plant and recipe illustrations for us. I love them. I know that you do too. Christy edits the recipe cards and then Jenny creates them as well as the thumbnail images for YouTube. Michelle is the tech wizard behind the scenes and Karen is our student services coordinator and customer support. For those of you who like to read along, Jennifer is who creates the transcripts each week. Xavier, my handsome French husband, is the cameraman and website IT guy. It takes an herbal village to make it all happen, including you. Okay, you've lasted to the very end of the show, which means you get a gold star and this herbal tidbit. Linden trees are often found growing in urban centers. One study in Paris, France, found that linden trees do not significantly uptake pollutants found in the soil. So while you always want to take soil health into consideration, this study is showing that linden harvests from urban areas may be safe. <laughs>